A split valve basically is a ambient temperature control valve to help us maintain a certain head pressure, discharge pressure, if you will, on a parallel rack. Because as I would mentioned one other time, these things run 24 seven, even in the winter when it's cold. And when the ambient temperature drops, our head pressure is gonna start dropping. So we wanna be able to keep that in control. One way we do that, this has what we call variable speed condensers. So it's gonna ramp up and down and run those condensers at a certain speed. Of course, the hotter it gets, the more it's gonna ramp up. As you can see right here, our variable C percent is 100% keeping this thing going. It is pretty warm out today. But anyway, when we have cold ambient conditions, we have a valve that's gonna cut the condenser in half. Let's take a look real quick. That device there is our three-way split valve. Our three-way split valve will energize and essentially cut this condenser in half. Now I'm only sending discharge gas to this half of the condenser instead of both sides. This is both of them on this three-way valve. Both of them are going to flow or only one side's going to flow. Our reclaim valves, those are, it's either going to flow in one direction or the other direction. Whereas a split valve looks the same, but it's either going to flow in one direction or both direction, not an either or. Um, anyway, so when our ambient temperature drops below 50 degrees by the computer, reads an ambient outside air sensor, it's going to energize that valve and essentially cut this half of the condenser off. That's going to increase our head pressure to maintain our uh, certain discharge pressure coming off the rack because in refrigeration, we need to maintain about 100 pounds difference between our suction pressure and our discharge pressure for everything to work correctly. Here in South Carolina, we just use um, our split valves and we can ramp our condensers up and down as needed depending on how much um, heat we're trying to remove. Um, heat reclaim can be used for hot water and it can be used for air. So let's go over it. This particular rack uses it for air. If we come into our sensor control, we can see we have AC1, reclaim circuit control and it's off as you can see highlighted right there when that's energized what's happening it's getting a signal from the ac because the ac says hey i want heat reclaim now in the summertime believe it or not we're going to use heat reclaim we're going to send discharge gas into a coil and bring it back to the rack but we're going to use it for dehumidification we like to use that it's stage one heat and if you got one of these fancy season four unit or these uh, bx controllers It'll use it for dehumidification. So it's gonna run the air conditioner, compressor, and that stage one heat to help dehumidify the store. So this is what happens. The AC says, I want heat reclaim. It's gonna send a signal to our board. This is an input board. We have two input boards. Our input board's gonna get the signal through this wire here. It says, hey, I want some heat reclaim. Computer says, all right, let's give you some heat reclaim, and it's gonna command your heat reclaim on. And when it commands on, this is the valve. It's going to in command right over here. That's our three-way heat reclaim valve. This line is cold to the touch. This line is hot to the touch. Right now, discharge gas is coming off our compressors, coming through here, hitting that, going this way, and going into our condensers. When I put apply voltage to this right here, it's going to open up a piston, and it's going to close this side off and open this side off and send hot gas to this pipe down in the store. It's piped to our main AC over here, goes through a coil and comes back up. Here's our AC for this. As you see, it says hot gas reheat section, heat reclaim section right there. Brand new unit, just installed. Love it, we all like new units, don't we? So if we open this door up, these are our reclaim coils. And you can see we've labeled them which one they come from. And basically all it's doing is hot discharge gas is coming from the rack three, going into our coil and coming back out as coil. Now, this will not change state. All it does is kind of like a D superheater. It takes all that extra heat, removes it, and puts it as much as it could. It's a small coil, but it's gonna remove as much heat as it can and then send that gas which is a vapor state back to the condenser then it's going to change state so keep in mind a reclaim coil does not make it go from a vapor to a liquid it's just going to be de-superheating that hot gas remove it dump it back into the store and it's basically free heat pretty cool right so 
There's all kinds of applications for it. We're using this particular rack for air. I have another rack across the roof. We're using it for hot water. Keep in mind, heat reclaim is free heat coming off the discharge line for the racks and we can reintroduce it into the store for either hot water, for the heat and dehumidification. Thanks guys.